Did you know you have the ability to use a negative offset within one CNC? It's a very powerful feature, very easy to do. Let me show you how to do it and let me also explain a situation where it might come in handy. In this example you can see we have an assembly. We have an orange piece and we have a gray piece which is the base plate. Now what I've done is I performed a profile operation on the boss on the base plate right there. And let's say that when I tried to fit the cover on there it was too snug of a fit and I need to actually take more material off of the perimeter of the boss. Well I can do that without changing any geometry. We can do it by using a negative offset. Very easy to do. We're going to edit this machining operation. That looks good and what we're going to do is head over to this dialog box right here and where it says leave on sides I'm going to type in a minus value. If I typed in minus 10 thousandths, that means that one CNC is going to take more material than normal. We're going to take 10 thousandths more. In fact, just to demonstrate this so visually you can see it a little bit better, I'm going to put in 50 thousandths on there. We'll click next, go all the way through, and then let's preview this really quick. We'll right hand mouse click and we'll go into preview toolpath. And if I rotate this around, you can see the tool is inside that shape by 50 thousandths. So typically you wouldn't use a big value like 50 thousandths. You might use 2 thousandths or 3 thousandths, something along that line. But just know it's a very powerful feature within one CNC. Very easy to do and it's the ability to use a negative offset. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next tip of the day.